Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sugandha and in this video I'll be talking more about neuroscience and cognitive science in India. So I had made this video in the past about different places where uh, there are new departments springing up in the field of cognitive science and neuroscience in India. And recently Ulas Kanatha from Karnataka, India wrote to me and uh, he pointed out that I had missed some more institutes uh, that might be useful for people who are passionate about uh, cognitive science or neuroscience in India and are looking for various venues where they can go do research in these fields. So today, thanks to Ulas, I'll be covering uh, some of the things that he has pointed me to. So let me share my screen and show you some of these institutes. Um, so the first one I want to talk about is um, NCBS. So let me take you to the main page of NCBS. Um, so NCBS is the National Center for Biological Sciences. And, um, you know, this is in Bangalore. And if we go back to this web page, which is showing the faculty, you can look at various faculty who are doing research in the field of neurobiology. So for instance, um, there are people working on um, you know genomics and there are people working on um, well there's there there's a breadth of different fields that people are working on where you can see there is neurobiology of learning and memory um, and there's um, neural control of movement during development and adulthood which seems to be a very interesting field and so if you are interested um, in neuroscience, then you can go to this website and check out different faculty members and look at um, what specific their areas of research they're working on. Um, let's see, we can also go and look at the research page. Um, and here under publications, you can also look at uh, the different publications that have come out of this institute. So that's the first institute that I wanted to point you to. And then there's another uh, the second very important institute is uh, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research um, and specifically the Department of Biological Sciences there. So this is in Mumbai and specifically, um, you know, Ullas had, had talked about Vidita and Shubha uh, being very good professors in the field of um, neuroscience. So let's let's just check out with it. So you can actually click and look at what their research interests are. So in this case, Vidita is interested in understanding neurocircuitry of emotion and emotion is actually very interesting um, field within neuroscience. It's a very complex uh, thing to study and it's it's very hard to study and uh, but it's also very important uh, aspect of um, uh, being human. And so she's interested in studying emotion and she's also uh, interested in studying how emotion is modulated by experience and the alterations in emotional neurocircuitry that underlie complex disorders like depression. And so she's using animal models. And by that, uh, we mean that she she's probably using some ani animals like monkeys or um, rats and doing experiments uh, in order to figure out what neurocircuitry is involved um, in emotion regulation. Etc. So, and you can also check out her publications here and so on and so forth. So, uh, go take a look at TIFR Mumbai and see if you can feel um, things that interest you. Um, and then the other institute uh, that I want to point you to is the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research. This is also based in Bangalore and they have a full neuroscience unit. So here you can uh, check out the different research areas that people are doing research in. Uh, there are very interesting uh, research areas. They are doing research in neuro neural circuitry underlying locomotor activity rhythms. They're doing research with drosophilia. Drosophilia is uh, uh, the fruit flies and it's uh, it's an animal model or insect insect that uh, is easy fairly easier uh, as compared to studying other animal models because we know a lot about drosophilia but also still you can uh, really learn about very fundamental principles from drosophilia itself and um, you know they're also doing different uh, take using different uh, technological um, methods to study on uh, neural circuits like microscopy, electrophysiology, um, and uh, fly behavioral assays. Um, so electrophysiology is basically when you're actually inserting electrodes in, into animals' brains and uh, looking at the you know, activity of these 
uh, neurons from uh, the brains of the animals while the animal is performing certain tasks. Um, and so that's one example, but you can also look at some of these other examples if you want to know about them in more detail. And then um, here they have different research units that you can check out, uh, but um, this is basically the page for the neuroscience um, research unit. And I am here looking for, uh, let's look at the coursework. So, um, okay, so they this is a, the general coursework page, but uh, you can see that they have different, within the neuroscience department, they have a PhD program, and then they have something called a course, um, which is basically just listing different courses in neuroscience. Um, and they have also posted the syllabus in these courses. So you can go check them out if you're interested. Um, so that's uh, an interesting um, also venue to check out if you're interested in doing neuroscience in India. Then another uh, institute is the Center of Behavioral and Cognitive Science. If you're interested in cognitive science, it seems like they're covering some uh, uh, a say of areas. So you can see that they are doing research in perception, attention, and consciousness. They're also looking at effect and cognition. Then they're looking in language processing, which is really, really important and is really being applied everywhere. Uh, today, your Google assistants and your Alexas, they all have language processing units and people are looking at human brain to get some uh, understanding of how human brains are processing language so that we can build these artificial systems that can also process languages in efficient ways like humans do. Um, and so they're also looking at cognitive development. So cognitive development is another very fundamental aspect when you're looking at what are the things that people People are born with and what are the things that children learn during their developmental stages and then what are the things that can be learned even after you've crossed those developmental stages those are very important questions and so looking at how learning happens during development is a fundamental question which also people in artificial intelligence are very interested in learning about so that they can train their machines in similar ways they're also looking at cognitive disorders um, decision making learning and memory so they are looking at a wide uh, range of areas, which is pretty exciting. And let's see, they have both MSc and PhD pro programs that you can uh, go check out. And we can also look at uh, the various faculty um, who are teaching here. And so here you can see um, there are people listed in core and there are also people who are visiting faculties. Um, and if you click on um, these faculty members, you can look at their research interests um, and check out their publications. And so the last institute that I want to talk about is um, Center for Neural and Cognitive Sciences. So this is, uh, oh, I should mention that uh, Center for uh, Center of Behavioral and Cognitive Sciences is in Allahabad, it's in the University of Allahabad. Um, and Center for Neural and Cognitive Sciences is another institute where um, it's offering both MS and PhD programs in the field of cognitive sciences. Um, so let's see, um, let's see if it, we can find more details here. So let's check out the PhD program. Um, so they list the basic qualifications that they need uh, for admission to PhD programs. And I don't really see a co the course structure here. Um, let's see if we can find more information. All right, so here you have a list of uh, professors. Um, so Professor Amesh Mishra with their webpage and laboratory link to the laboratory. So it, it seems very interesting. So there he's running Action Control and Cognition Lab, which is also another very interesting area of research within cognitive science. And here, um, all right, so they're listing what different research areas they're interested in, and they're also probably listing their publications. Um, and you can look at uh, the different things that the lab is involved in. So I, I encourage you to check this out as well if you're interested in cognitive science. Um, and so similarly, there are other institute, other professors that are also listed here. Um, and um, this institute is in Hyderabad. And so these are basically all, uh, all the institutes that I wanted to point you to. Uh, 
and again thanks to last uh, for bringing them to our attention and i hope you you will be able to check them out um and i will place all these links in the description below so uh it's easier for you to check them out so that's all for today uh hope you're all doing well um see you next time and don't forget to hit subscribe if you are interested in watching more videos <laughs>